everybody welcome back to the farm we are now in may of year four just got done with the daily chores of loading up the beer trailer starting to get pretty full hopefully we can make it to august um but it's may and the oats should be ready to go so what we're going to do is i talked to jim next door and we have a handshake agreement that i'm going to buy his truck in august after I sell off the beer so he tossed me the keys and said hey if you let me run your combine you can go ahead and use my truck for your oats which works out because the brewery um, holds about 40,000 liters of each type of crop and I think he said this trailer holds around 38,000 so I can get one trailer a load of oats over here to the brewery and then I can put the rest of it in the green bin for later so we're gonna jump here in the Diamond Rio, I think that's what it was at Diamond Rio. Yep, we're gonna jump in here in the Diamond Rio. We're gonna drive it back to the farm. And then we're gonna get Jim set up on the combine, and then we're gonna jump in the auger wagon. Looks pretty clean in here. A little bit of a sleeper back there in case I ever need it. So, as we get started here, um, I wanted to say thank you to my seven subscribers and my tens of viewers um, I'm actually probably about a month ahead um, so I'm recording these videos about a month ahead of where I am uploading them and I think today I posted video uh, episode number seven and I believe I'm recording episode 13 um, but episode 10 actually would have will um, episode 10 made this the longest running series I've had so far uh, so for those of you that were around for the Nebraska farmer days there's a look at the corn coming in the oats straight ahead um, that was my my first go around and it started out good and then um, I had uh, the map freeze up on me because some of the mods that I was using and then I restarted and had the same issue a second time so we gave up on that and then we started the Moose Farms series. Uh, Moose Farms again started out great and then I made the uh, decision to move to a new map and create a uh, basically re uh, created a model version of my my grandfather's farm that I grew up working on in central Nebraska I actually took the coordinates from the map in the game and plotted them out on a Google Maps a version of that farm and actually did the landscaping and built everything to match as closely as I could but then I realized I was on a map that only had one cell point and I got bored with that really quickly I started doing the funny farm, uh, got into the second episode of that, and I didn't have any money to do anything, and the only way to make money was to harvest sugar beets. And for anybody that's ever played Farming Simulator, sugar beets and potatoes are the slowest and most tedious of any of the crops that you harvest. Um, so I gave up on that one before the second episode, but now we are on episode 13 of old school and I don't have any plans on quitting anytime soon cause I got some exciting stuff uh, coming up um, in upcoming episodes so stick around um, what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna get the combine out I'm gonna go get Jim started on the combine and then I will come back and join you when it's time uh, when, when I'm in the auger wagon Right, 
we got Jim going in the combine. You can see him up there in the distance. Um, he's probably a little over half full, so we're going to go ahead and pick him up, heading up the field this time. Do a little auger wagon action here. And then we'll probably uh, get busy. I'll probably get him started. I'll probably start get one load in the auger wagon and then once I figure out about how many times he can go through the field without getting before he's full I might run back to the yard and grab the tractor and the baler and go ahead and get started on that because um, if we're gonna get uh, soybeans in we gotta go pretty fast here and I gonna be able to do this yes I have enough room too far? Why did he stop? We gotta find the uh, trigger point for the auger and figure out if my tractor. Am I gonna be able to make this work? He doesn't want to dump into this auger wagon for some reason. I do not know what's going on here. Alright, let's try this again with a different auger wagon. Um, I thought about editing that last part out, but uh, I've had enough of those snafus that I haven't left in the videos for you guys to see. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it in there. Uh, I got a different auger wagon now, since the combine did not want to recognize that last one. I just got a thing up ahead, up, uh, or a notice up on my screen that gym is 80% full so we're trying to catch up to him here before he gets to the end so we can get him unloaded this is a John Deere 500 a green cart and not the 1210 it was more expensive so what I did is I just switched them out and I reset the money back to about where we were at let's see if this one works Could have put an extension on there, but I didn't know if it was going to be too tall. There we go. Now we're cooking. We'll get uh, Jim unloaded here. <coughs> Sorry, I've got, uh, got a little issue with allergies or cold or something. I just had a nagging cough for the last couple days, but I didn't want to get it let that interrupt our videos now let's see if the game is gonna be smart and stop at the end to finish unloading here sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't there we go we'll get Jim finished unloading we'll see we got Not quite half full, probably around 35% or so by the time he empties out here. And he, there you can see that, yeah, I got the auger kind of. So this, this auger wagon is a little bit too tall, but I couldn't get the other one to work. I do have an option for a J&M, so I might give that one a try too. I'm going to let Jim get going, and I'm going to jump back to the farm and get the 40... Uh, 20 and uh, get it hooked up to the baler and start making some bales all right we got the 4020 down here with the baler and the bale wagon uh, we switched out we're gonna try the J&M 500 this time see if it looks any better than the John Deere as far as the auger not transposing through the side so we're gonna run down here quick and pick Jim up coming back up this way again like I said uh, he can get almost four times through the field without getting full 
So this should be counting the swaths on the ground. This should be his fourth pass coming back up. So we'll pick him up to the end and then we'll jump over to the 40-20 and we'll do a couple uh, swaths of bales and then we'll just go back and forth and get this all done. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's quite even half full this time around, so maybe he can go more than four. Well, that's good. I'll pick him up this time and then maybe I can get some bales done. So let's see how this looks now. Let's see if the auger sticks through the side of the J&M like it was sticking through the side of the John Deere. Looks like we got a little bit more clearance here. If, but if, now let's see if it'll unload. But yeah, you can see there we still got the auger kind of transposing through the side. It is what it is. I guess it just means it's time to upgrade the combine. Auger wagons are just a hair too tall. We'll go ahead and unload him going toward this end, and then we'll jump back over to the 4020, do a couple of swaths of bales here, and then we'll probably jump forward. I'm not going to record this whole thing. We'll probably jump forward and see how much of this field it takes to get that truck full, and then maybe get you a couple clips if there's enough left over using the auger wagon into the gravity wagon to put, put what's left into the bins. I'm not really in a rush to get all this done to get beans done, but if I can get some beans in before the end of May, that would be great. If not, that's fine, and you'll see why if you keep watching for future episodes. Looks like we got him there, and we're only 25% full, so we're going to let him keep going. We're gonna jump over here and do some bales. Up onto the 4020, turn it on. Everything sounds good. Drop our pickup, and here we go. Let's make some straw bales. I think this is the second or third time I've actually showed this part. Um, the swath, and I. But this I don't understand. I'm using the same combine, but the swaths also don't stay a consistent width. But the baler will pick up a little bit wider than what shows. Watch this bale. Make sure. Yep, I do have my auto load trigger set on the trailer. We are actually down after this morning. I think I'm down to like 30 bales in the hayloft, so this is perfect timing. We're going to, oh, I think the hayloft in that barn will take 600 bales. So we're going to get as many as we possibly can off of this field. Like I said, I, I'm not going to change the, the, the time scale on this. If I get the harvesting and the baling done in time to get some soybeans in, I will do that because I can come, I can, uh, if I need to add another layer of fertilizer, I can come behind that and throw some slurry over the top before the soybeans start to grow. But if I don't get around to it, it's not that big of a deal, and you guys will see why in future episodes. leave you with a cliffhanger I could show you right now what the plan is but if you've watched uh, the previous episodes you can maybe piece it together and get what I'm thinking but uh, it might take some crit critical thinking on your part so I'm just gonna leave you guys with that cliffhanger you're gonna have to watch probably the next episode to figure out where we're going with the farm get some first person view here I guess that works if I keep keep the nose right on the inside of the swath yep all right you gotta take a little bit of a wide turn because I got two trailers behind me made it down here about the same time that Jim did so that worked out all right 
if that's the case, I can I can time this right, and I can do four swaths of bales, and then go jump, walk over to the auger wagon, and wait for him at the other under the other end of the field, and get him on his sixth time up. Well, we're just going to keep trucking along here. I will be back shortly uh, when we get close to having the semi-full. So you guys can ride along as we take that over to the brewery. This should be close to what we need to fill up the truck. Uh, the truck is about 70% full, only need about another 10,000 liters or so, so this load is going to be close. You see we've uh, we stopped and adjusted the combine, we stopped laying down a straw swath. I've already unloaded one load of bales, so there should be enough. Uh, straw left there to get at least another load which would put us at uh, 310 because that trailer a, held 155 on that first load so if we do another load that'll give us 310 bales which is enough to get us through one year at 25 bales a month which is about what I've been using I've been using 15 in the barn and then 10 for the cabs in the other uh, corral thousand there yeah this is about gonna do it like I said after after the last load it told me that the semi trailer was at 70% full so we're just gonna go ahead and take Jim all the way through to the end there because if I remember right there are a few oats still left in the brewery from last year so we don't need a full 40,000 liters and maybe 8,100 liters here by the time we get to the end and stop. 8,100. Go ahead and stop and let Jim keep going. And we'll see if this tops off the semi for us. You can see the front hopper is already full. The second hopper is almost half full already, so... I think regardless of where we end up, I think we're going to go ahead and call this good. We'll see here. Get lined up here.
not quite. Let's get out and see where we're at. We're at 92% full. We're going to go ahead and call that good. We're going to go get this dropped off at the brewery, and then we'll come back and put the rest of it in the grain bins. <coughs> you can see there we're maybe, maybe halfway done. So there's still going to be plenty of boats to go. So even if we don't use it all for beer, um, there'll be plenty left over. I'm going to... I haven't done this yet. I got some paths here through the trees as I wrap it around a tree. This might not be the best vehicle to try to do this with. I'm going to see if I can't navigate through the tree. Nah, we're not going to do it. If I go this way, it'll take me back to the farmyard. I think if I go left there, it'll eventually wrap back around to where I have the driveway. there you can see that's where that that other path comes out and cuts through the woods there some good hunting back in there you can see the deer running around so one of these days will get us give us get us an ATV and go back in the woods and have some fun nobody's coming we're not gonna slow down kept the help menu on this time because I don't always remember what what button it is to switch it from the front hopper to the back hopper down at the bottom we're at 35 so we're, we could take another 5,000 liters but you can see there there's plenty of corn oats and soybeans to keep us going might have to bring over a couple of loads of water here at the end of the month but we're gonna get back to the farm now and continue on that oat harvest I might give you one or two clips of us dumping into the grain bins before we call it quits on this video so I'm not going to sign off quite yet. But we're going to head back to the farm and finish making some bales and finish harvesting some oats. Um, as you can see at the top, it's already past 12.30, so we're barely half done in the field. So I don't think we're going to have enough time. While I was baling, I stopped off. I jumped off once and checked the menu, and it said that the field is now 0% fertilized and there's weeds growing. So not only would I have to plow... I would have to put down two layers of fertilizer and seed that all and get that done by the end of May. So we're not going to put soybeans down on that field. We are going to prepare it for what's going to come in the fall. So cliffhanger, you're going to have to finish this episode and watch the, episode, the next one to find out what we're going to do. But I'm going to 
stop off over here and uh, turn on the uh, 4630 that's hooked up to the auger and then we'll have to bring the 4020 back and hook it up. Actually, you know what? I probably can hook the pickup up. I should be able to hook up the pickup to this gravity wagon and since it has to be hooked up to something to dump. So we're going to get this hooked up. We're going to get uh, everything turned on and going. And uh, we will... Oh, it one thinks I'm trying to hook up the tractor. So let me walk around to the other side here. We're going to get this We're gonna get this all up and running. And then uh, we'll be back with more uh, harvest action to finish up this video in just a few seconds. Right, we're getting later in May here. We got the baling all done. I think we ended up with 360 bales, I think was the final number. Now you'll see the auger wagon is almost full here. We're getting near to the end of the field, so I'm going to go down here and unload Jim coming back up through. And then when he's done, he should be able to. He should have then enough room in the combine, I think, to get the rest of the field and then come dump. So we've already dumped one load, I think, which was just over 17,000 liters. We'll probably get another 17,000 liters on this one. I don't think that I'll get the full combine load before I'm full. So hopefully there's enough to finish off the field, but we shall see. Well, there might be more left there than I thought. I've been able to get about six trips through the field um, on each each uh, load from the combine, so it's gonna be close. Uh, we're gonna sit here and wait for a minute, and then we'll uh, grab him going back the other way, and then we'll drive into the yard and dump it out. And there's one last thing, a new, another new uh, tool that I found, discovered, um, to kind of help us keep track of how much money we can make. So, and there, there's the indication there, eight. So he's been hitting 80% full like that after about five trips through the field. So I will pull forward and pick him up going back the other way. Go get unloaded. Look at that skill getting lined up almost perfect on the first try. Uh, but I do have to watch my speed. If I was in the combine, it would tell you that it's going six miles per hour. But right now, the game has me going between five and six miles per hour, and the combine's going faster than me. But if I tick up my cruise control one notch to six, now I'm going faster than the combine, so I just kind of have to feather it back and forth here. Slow back down. Back forward. About 95% full. So we're going to get most of what he had in there, but we're not going to get everything. Uh, so I might have to come back out here. Yeah. Got most of his tank. I don't know that he's going to quite get another six trips. So we might have to come out one more time, but it won't be a full auger wagon load. So we'll go get this unloaded. Then there's one thing, one more thing I'm going to show you guys before the end of this episode, and then I think the next time around we'll pick it up in August when it's time to make some money. And hopefully, we make enough money to make some more changes that I want to show you. Um, but that's what I'm going to show you. I'm actually going to forecast that a little bit here. So me a minute to get back to the farm and get this unloaded. I'll have to start unloading it, then I'll have to go turn on the 
4630 that's on the on the auger, then I actually have to turn on the pickup before it will allow me to open the gate on the side of the gravity wagon. So. get this all started before the gravity wagon gets too full jump in the 4630 turn it on and then when I jump in the pickup and turn it on it'll allow me to start unloading and the auger should be running you can see the PTO shaft moving the auger is running unloading little overlap in the graphics there the the shoots kind of going through the trailer just like the flow of grain out of my auger wagon is going through the trailer it's a video game not everything's perfect but there you can see got the grain flowing through to the other side so what I'm gonna show you is this new menu that I found and it's actually a mod that's been out for a while that I'd never seen before um, but then it was updated this week so I was like oh that's kind of cool actually no it might have been new I don't remember I think it was updated this week so now so this mod if you're playing the game and you don't use it it's called time saving stock check so now I can see the current value of everything that I have In stock and so you can see at the if you I'm going to use my mouse cursor so this is we have 27,000 uh, liters of oats in, in the silo now thousand liters of seed uh, we're up to 33,000 liters of milk we got 238,000 liters of straw we have some diesel we have some liquid fertilizer we have a bunch of manure and a bunch of slurry uh, we have some lime in stock still some herbicide silage CCM and you can see our beer down here now I think on the beer it's only this is one thing I got to check I don't know if it's picking up everything that's in the trailer or not it might be but this is the current price and then if I go over here this is what the current value is so right now I could get forty three thousand dollars if I decided to go sell like diesel back to the oil refinery but I'm not gonna do that right now um, it's actually above the max price which is probably why it's green right there but if I go the highest price that I could sell at so if I sell these oats at top price I'm gonna get almost thirty two thousand dollars for them um, I could go sell off the manure right now for twenty thousand dollars I could go sell off all of the slurry um, at top price for twenty four thousand um, dollars the silage if I wanted to sell it off but this is and then this is what I'm looking at so right now if we took everything in stock and sold it at its top price we'd get three hundred and forty five thousand dollars that's enough for some of the stuff that we want to do here um, but I don't I don't plan on selling all the manure and slurry at this point but if I if I needed to I could because we're obviously producing plenty of it same thing with the straw um, I'm gonna do some experimenting <coughs> um, in the next couple of months to see if the stock of beer is picking up what's in the trailer or if it's only picking up what has been produced since the last time that I uh, picked all the pallets up off the ground so we'll see where we get from that but right now the uh, the balance sheet is looking pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and head back over and just in case I need to pick up the combine one more time but that's gonna do it for this episode next time you see us it'll probably be in August because I think that's the top price for the beer so we're gonna see how much money we get off from that and see if it's enough to make a few changes um, looking at a little expansion on the farm so once again thank you for watching don't forget to smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you want to subscribe and get notified um, every time that I post a new video then uh, Hit that notification bell too.
too but if you just hit the subscription alone uh, you can set it so that you won't get notified every time I make a video maybe I can get over 10 subscribers we'll see I'm currently at 7 uh, or I was at 7 I'm at 7 right now while I'm recording this but I'm going to have 4 more episodes that get uploaded before you see this one so we'll see but as always thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time